and Cammy. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. Neve, do you remember me? I'm just <laughs> Well, it's hard because I can't see you. Right. <laughs> Neve, we, we chatted last summer. It was last summer, and I must say, you were the first remote interview that I've I ever done. L look at me just just shooting them on out. Boom, boom, wow. boom. Wow, you're a pro yeah. now. <laughs> you were the first, Neve. But Cammy, I'm so happy you're joining him by uh, his side this morning. It's Thank great you to so you know, much. meet you. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, guys, let's go ahead and get started. So a new year, new twist in the show that investigates and brings together couples who have interacted solely through the computer screens. I love this show so much. So what makes this new season even bigger than the last one, if that's even possible? <laughs> well, this season is a little bit different. Um, instead of having, you know, hopefuls reach out to us directly, we're getting kind of anonymous tips and tips from friends and family who are, you know, writing on behalf of their family member or friend, and they're like, I've been trying to get it through to them. The person that they're talking to isn't real. Maybe you guys can help. It's We're kind of like the last stitch effort in this case, um, and we have to kind of convince the hopeful or the person, you know, to let us help them mm -hmm. help themselves. Well, which case did you find the most interesting, like, you know, versus all the others that we see play out in this new season? Because um, I was watching the screener, and, oh, some of these are, I mean, I think they're even better, really, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just, just, you're just, like, what? Yeah. Did that just happen? You know. I mean, yeah. even just in the first few episodes, we've had some pretty different and very interesting scenarios. We had uh -huh. a long-lost sister uh, who was claiming to sort of be a, a relative, and there was some uncertainty as to whether or not that was true. We've had uh, a couple who was in a relationship, one of whom was catfishing the other to see if they would in fact cheat and then ended up doing it for a year and they sort of almost reconnected and fell in love but through the fake catfish profile. So that was a whole messy situation. DNA test. Right. Mm. You know, Catfish, the, uh, the the TV show, like I said, it's one of my favorites on MTV. It's really the only one I'll ever watch a screen or two because I'm like, I really <laughs> want to know what's going to happen. I'm like, I love this show so much. And, of course, you know, the new season premiered a couple of weeks ago. But, you know, what do you really think continues to make fans uh, love this show, it continues to be a fan favorite, and people continue to crave more for it? Because, I mean, you know, I think some of the cases that we see, you know, they can relate to some of the things that they're watching, some of the people that, you know, watch the show. That's exactly right, That's Noah. It. I think that the relatability factor of the okay. show, that we, we've all been there, we've all made decisions for ourselves uh, in relationships that might not have necessarily been the smartest, we've, we've made mistakes, we've learned from them, uh, and we're all looking for love and find, trying to find someone to connect with who truly sees and understands who we are. So, so that sort of very human need and, and desire to connect and, and be loved is at the core of every episode, and that's why I think, you know, no matter what happens or where we go or who we're dealing with, everyone watching can relate to that feeling. Absolutely. And Cami, you've always had like a passion for investigative journalism. So I kind of want to ask, you know, what drew you to it? And what are some of the things <laughs> that you've tackled to get to where you're at today in your career, Cami? Come well, on she's, now. She's stalked a lot of yeah. ex-boyfriends. I'm a Scorpio, <laughs> so I'm a super stalker. Um, mm -hmm. All of my friends, anytime, you know, they have a guy that they're like, I met this guy at this bar last <laughs> night. I can't find him. I'm like, give me five minutes. I've got you. I can figure anything out. And also just getting to know people, I really love that and connecting mm -hmm. with them and hearing their stories and there's always a deeper meaning behind every episode and the reason why people do things the reason why people catfish and the we reason why people get catfish plus okay. cammy had the unfortunate ex experience of having to spend time with donald trump as miss teen usa so i yeah. feel like her bullshitometer uh, <laughs> is actually pretty strong as it's a result very spot yeah. on <laughs> when new episodes of catfish the tv show airs wednesdays 8 p.m eastern standard time on mtv Neve and Cammy, this has been a lot of fun. I hate to let you go, but <laughs> y you got to get to the next outlet, huh? Yeah, that's Great right. Great job, so. no, Got to keep it. going. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thanks, guys. Y'all have a good weekend. Thank you. All right, talk soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs>